When you visit Thailand, horse racing is something you probably never think you will encounter. In this video, we give you a brief rundown of horse racing in Thailand. If this is your first time on the channel, or you have returned and liked the content, then can I ask you to please like, share and subscribe. It really does help me and the channel. Oh, and don't forget to press the bell icon so you know when my next video has been uploaded. And watch to the end to find out where you can watch horse racing in Thailand. Horse racing was introduced to Thailand in the late 19th century and still takes place at several locations throughout Thailand. It was seen as a civilised activity and betting was allowed even when other traditional forms of gambling were made illegal. Betting on horse races is one of the few legal forms of gambling in Thailand. The sport was very popular during the mid 20th century but the popularity of the sport has declined greatly since. Today, people from mainly the lower income groups form the majority of spectators, while the races generally serve as a networking venue for the elite members of Thai society who own most of the stables and horses. The first horse race took place in Thailand, then known as Siam, in 1897, following King Rama V's return from his state visit to Europe, where civil servants and students who studied in Europe organised a horse racing event at the Pra Main Ground, now called Sanam Luang, as an act of allegiance to his return. Race courses were established in exclusive sports clubs, most notably the Royal Bangkok Sports Club, which was founded in 1901. The Royal Turf Club followed in 1916. The objective was to introduce and promote the quality of horse racing and breeding in Thailand, while providing sports facilities of international standards for Thais and expats. The club is also the centre for horse training and testing. Horse racing quickly spread to other societal groups in the 1920s and rapidly gained in popularity throughout Thailand. But as a result of its popularity, it began to be viewed as a form of immorality. So, in 1949, the government ordered that the races take place no more than once a week in Bangkok. Towards the end of the 20th century, horse racing has experienced a gradual decline as races become more restricted and other forms of illegal gambling gained in popularity. Several race courses underwent restructuring and or change of ownership in the 1990s. Today, seven of the eight race courses throughout Thailand still remain operational. In addition to the two in Bangkok, there are race courses in Nakhon Ratchasima, Udon Thani, Khon Ken, Roy Et and Chiang Mai provinces. The one in Maha Sakaram has since closed down. Occupying Henry Dunant Road, opposite Chulong Korn University, the prestigious private Royal Bangkok Sports Club holds horse racing events that are open to the public every second Sunday. Betting is allowed and it begins at a minimum 50 baht on a win basis only. You win money if the horse you bet on comes in first. If you bet on a place, your horse must come in first, second or third to collect. Incidentally, gambling is actually illegal in Thailand, but betting on horses seems to be the only exception to the rule. A typical Bangkok horse racing scene goes like this. It's usually a hot, sweltering Sunday afternoon the punters studying hard on their horse research in the grandstands, most of whom have their binoculars at the ready. The race starts and the crowd rise to their feet with a deafening roar when Chok D, which means lucky, reaches the bell lap, which is the final lap of a race. The commentator's voice reaches a near hysterical pitch as the excitement mounts in the Royal Bangkok Sports Club Stadium. Although horse racing is not what you would expect to witness in Bangkok, Horse racing does have quite a lot of followers and does offer an exhilarating experience. There are approximately 26 race meetings each year and the four most celebrated cups are the Royal Derby Cup, the Ram Rakop Cup, the Freya Pradabitapul Cup and the Chairman's Cup. The total betting turnover for a year is 35.1 billion baht which is all on course as that's the only place to bet on the horses. Breeding is an important ingredient in the horse racing industry, with the total number of stud farms being 19. The total number of stallions available is 48, the total number of breeding mares is 1100, and the total number of thoroughbred births per year is 140 on average. Bangkok Horse Racing 
check it out. Its location is 1 Henry Denant Road, Pathum 1, Pathum 1, Bangkok, 10,330, Thailand.